Hello. So we are getting ready to depart for our trip to the Southwest in about, I don't know, I guess like 14 or 15 hours from now. And uh, we get a lot of questions about how we pack and how we get ready for a trip. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick walkthrough and explain a little bit about how we pack and how where everything goes when we're getting ready to hit the road and um, kind of walk you through the RV situation. So I just walked into the RV right here. You kind of come into the main cab area. Um, this is the driver's seat, passenger seat. Justin and I typically ride up here every once in a while. We kind of rotate the kids through. But um, we are here and um, above the uh, front cab space, we have a couple of compartments, one of which has, um, you know, kind of our guidebooks and the kids' passport books. Um, another has masks and headlamps and um, in the RV, uh, Tupperware bins are amazingly helpful to make sure that everything has a home. So we try and use those as much as we can. We have small ones, big ones, medium size, um, a lot of big ones that live under the RV in the compartments outside the cab. Um, here in the middle, we have some paper goods. Um, we have a real, a set of real uh, dishes and utensils and cups and that sort of thing. But sometimes cooking, you know, three meals a day for six people, we do use paper plates and um, bowls every once in a while just to help with dishwashing since we don't have a dishwasher obviously in the RV and hand washing everything for all six of us for all of our meals just kind of gets to be a lot sometimes. So um, we do break it up sometimes from that perspective. And then over here we have um, sunscreen and bug spray, napkins, candles, that sort of thing. Um, but from the front uh, part of the cab where you walk in, this is kind of the main um, living space. It doesn't look this big when we are driving because the slide outs are pulled in. You have slide outs on both sides of the RV that really make it feel a lot bigger. Um, so when we're stationary, this is kind of how it looks and feels. But like I said, when we're driving, this area down the middle is a lot more slim um, and there's a lot less space here to move around. Um, couch right here and then above the couch we typically keep um, some plates and bowls and um, serving pieces and then over here we have a lot of our canned goods and dry goods um, that live in this space. We are going to be in a really hot area this summer so I tried to pack as much as I could in the refrigerator just to keep things fresh. Um, over here is a TV. This is pretty much the only one we use in the RV even though there are several. Um, TV has a great cabinet behind it and back here we're gonna we haven't loaded everything yet but our coffee machines espresso machines um, again some bins up top uh, that have condiments and spices that kind of thing up top and then a um, couple compartments under the sink here where we keep dish towels and cleaning supplies we have a couple coolers under there um, again, kitchen space right here. This is kind of where we prep our meals. There is a range under here. So this um, space gives us uh, an area to prep food, which is really nice. And then you can remove them when you're actually using the range right here. Um, over here, we have just our table area, a um, couple drawers underneath, which are awesome. We have snacks in one of them. And then the other has art supplies and games for the kids, things that they can do and pull out easily while we're on the road. Again, bins. Here we even have a bin within a bin, I think. Um, some card games and um, markers, crayons, paper. We always make sure and have that stuff available because they do use it a lot on the road. Um, on this side over here is our refrigerator and it's pretty packed. Um, I typically like to pack a lot um, when we first hit the road, at least two weeks worth of food usually. Um, I know it's a lot, but for us, we would much rather be out doing something fun than having to stop for food and grocery shopping, um, which isn't the easiest in an RV. So I typically bring, like I said, about two weeks worth of food. And then up top here, um, I actually have probably eight to 10 uh, freezer meals up top. Um, so I pre-made a couple of soups. Um, I have a couple of casseroles up there. I roasted uh, a couple of pork butts and um, some turkey. So I actually just froze the meat up there to kind of be able to pull out as we need it. I have some fresh in the fridge as well. 
And that's really helpful for us, um, especially on those long driving days where we get to the campground late and we just want to pull something out pretty easy. Um, that really, really helps. We love to barbecue on the road, but um, some of those days it's just too hard to get everything all set up at the campground when we arrive late. Uh, so that's the refrigerator. Going down the hallway here, um, these are the bunks. And there's two bunks here. We like to travel with sleeping bags for our kids. Um, it keeps it easy. And then they can kind of typically move them around depending on what sleeping surface they're using that night. Um, there's the two bunks here. And then the couch pulls into a bed. And then the um, area above the cab actually drops down. And there's a bed up there that fits. It could even fit three kids. But typically one to two of our kids sleep up there. Uh, the table area also turns into a bed that the table collapses and then we have a cushion that goes over the middle area. So someone could sleep there as well. We try not to use it as much because we use the table for a lot of other things, obviously. Um, but that's an option. Uh, the bunks are in here and we have, like I said, sleeping bags. The kids have kind of just thrown their stuff in there for now. So we'll organize that later. But pillows and sleeping bags and a couple blankets in there. And then this is one bathroom right here, um, just the toilet and a couple cabinets and a sink. And then back here into the master bedroom. So this is the master bedroom. Um, these are cabinets and drawers where we keep all of our clothes. So for our whole family, um, we have a couple organizers in here. These are like, you know, socks and underwear and that type of thing. These really help. Everyone's got their own drawer so they know where their things are. And then um, the boys have drawers down here with all of their clothes. So um, they each know where their stuff is and they can come in and get things out as they need it. And uh, it helps us to stay pretty organized. Um, we also have a laundry bag that comes out as we travel that we kind of just um, fill up with the dirty stuff um, so that every time we stop and do laundry, it's um, ready and available. Um, this is another, This is a, these are actually my clothes in here. Um, and I love my little hanging organizer thing because I can kind of compartmentalize what's in which compartment. Um, so that's really helpful also. Under the bed, this is a really, really special area here. So the bed, the mattress actually moves up and there's space under the bed down here, which we just love. Um, you can actually fit a ton of stuff down here. We've put like a full size printer down here before. Um, we keep, like you can see a lot of games. Um, we have some overflow snacks down here. Uh, the kids have a bag of books for um, just reading on the road. Uh, we have a little wine just in case. That's kind of a must have um, on road trips. Puzzles, um, those are uh, school supplies back there in the gray bag. And then we have some coolers. We have a bug zapper back there if we get it to a buggy spot. And we actually have a safe that we put down here as well. So we'll put that in later today, but um, we use the safe for our valuables. We also use it for, um, our, we have some devices that we bring on the road with us, iPads for the kids. And then we typically put them into the safe once we get to a destination. So it's not a temptation for anyone. And that's really helpful. We, li we love that. Um, so that space under the bed is amazing. It fits so much stuff. And then back here is the master bathroom. Um, there is a shower back here. It's actually a pretty big shower, a full size shower. Um, so this is our spot to shower. And then you have a couple more cupboard areas back here. So we keep towels. Um, these are all of our um, swimming towels and bathing suits. And then the top is um, jackets and um, kind of warmer weather or cool, I guess, colder weather gear, which we won't really need much of this summer, but we will be up in the mountains a little bit. So we're bringing it just in case. Um, so I think that's kind of the main... Um, area of the RV. We, all, we also have a couple of cabinets over the bed right there. And Justin and I typically put some of our just like personal goods um, other than clothes up in those spaces um, just to be able to access as we need. So I think that's it. I um, hope that's helpful. I know a lot of you like kind of wanted just a little glimpse into what this space looks like and how we kind of access it and use it. So hopefully that's helpful and uh, wish us luck.